there's not enough resources that are available. There's definitely not enough to share with the animals. We very quickly began to realize that the needs spread far beyond anything that was earthquake related and more into general shortcoming of veterinary infrastructure and support. We have a field surgical room set up. And these guys right here are, are prepping this dog right now for surgery. We have teams of five people, four local Haitian veterinarians, with one of our training and teaching surgeons. I would put another one on, on this side. This is for the scalpel blade? You saw? Spay hook? Right now we're at Humane Society International's new uh, Animal Welfare and Veterinary Training Center in Guadalupe, Haiti. When we first identified this facility, it was a vacant hotel. Over the past almost six months now, we have uh, begun construction of a, a full-service animal hospital. Several facilities on site are used for veterinary training seminars and community outreach seminars. What we're in the middle of right now is a field surgical spay-neuter clinic training for Haitian vets. Two fingers. Okay, two fingers. This does two fingers. Um, okay. Concerning his weight. Okay. This project is a classic seed project that HSI loves to get involved in. and We come in with the concept of trying to train their local veterinarians to be able to spay and neuter animals and taking it back to their individual community. We're down the body wall. There are 10 regions within the country, uh, governmentally, and we have identified one clinical veterinarian with the most experience in their profession from each of those regions. Then they'll go back, that's why it's a seed project, but it's literally going out to all different regions of Haiti. Move this way. Come toward me. No, toward in moving forward with this project, collaboration with other NGOs became you know, the key to success. Uh, Best Friends Animal Society has played a, a massive role in offering support and partnering with us, as well as Christian Veterinary Missions, who has been offering us some invaluable insight as to the, the functioning of patient culture and society here. Most of the dogs that we worked with yesterday came from a, a small village on the outskirts of Fort Prince called Merge. We came down here right at the end of January, directly after the earthquake, and uh, there was just such minimal access to medication, uh, any kind of instrumentation or veterinary support. Uh, and there was just no structure to really provide the help that we, we wanted to be able to here. Now that we finally have the resources to start to work with this community and make a difference uh, in the care of their animals, uh, it's a wonderful feeling. Thank you very much. We really appreciate that, the fact that um, HSI um, come down and help us with the dogs, with the animals down here. We really appreciate that. Thank you very much. I think um, today is a very, very nice day for me and we're going to do a lot of works because we have many animals here to spay and to neuter. I have the opportunity to spay three of them. This method is helpful to control overpopulation in dogs and in cats in this country. But it has both the surgical piece as well as the animal welfare piece. And it's kind of fun to watch them allowed to bring out their really basic human animal bond instinct uh, and they just need the chance to express this. If you look at that pyramid of each of those vets going to the community and training a couple more or educating a couple of their own community, you can see it an upside down pyramid that will eventually lead to significant population control in Haiti, which makes it better for the animals and better for the people.